Hello, and uh, welcome to the Effects Loop. Um, I'm Jay Byrne, and I'm going to be your host, or the person who makes these videos, I guess is what you would call them. Um, this channel is going to focus basically on guitars, guitar gear, amps, pedals, pedal boards, uh, guitar-related news, guitars, gear-related stuff, and guitar gear-related stuff, basically. Um, this video right now, what we're going to focus on today is I'm going to um, kind of demonstrate my main amp here. This is the amp I'm pretty much going to use for almost everything. Pedal demos. This is a Roland JC40, a Jazz Chorus 40. I don't have the 120 because it's just a monster and as you'll see this thing is plenty freaking loud enough. Um, especially sitting right next to it with my ear like this. <laughs> um, you watch all these videos all the time, these guitar-related videos on YouTube and whatnot, and, um, and they always have the amp right next to them, like right this, so you can see the amp. So, you know, I've got it set up like that. But granted, without earplugs, this thing right next to my head right now is not exactly the most comfortable thing in the world to be sitting next to. But uh, anyway, I'm uh, going to be playing my... Uh, my Gretsch, uh, what is this? this is a uh, G5427T, if that means anything to you. It's a hollow body, Gretsch hollow body. Kind of looks like a Brian Setzer model. I think initially they were considered like a Chet Atkins model, but then Brian Setzer kind of took it over because it's got like the tiger stripes and stuff like that. So I got my pedal board over here. Right now I've got a little bit of slap back on so I can, you know. <laughs> That kind of stuff. I'm using the mic, uh, the camera mic for now. It's actually a boom mic that's connected to the top of the camera, and that's how I'm going to record the sound for the time being. Um, just so you can get a, a, an idea of what it sounds like in the room. Because if I if I close mic it, I mean I'm not the greatest at close micing, and it might not sound exactly as good as it could. I mean, so you can get an idea of what this actually sounds like if you were sitting in the room with it and you were playing guitar. You should get a general idea. It should be halfway decent. It's a pretty decent boom mic on the camera. This thing is 40 watts, solid state, okay? And, I mean, I never get this thing past like 9 o'clock on the dial. Like, it, like, right now, I've got it on the equivalent of 2 on the dial. And this thing is plenty loud. I mean, seriously, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's not ridiculously loud. That's kind of like comfortably loud in the room. It's probably about 90 decibels or so. I don't have a decibel meter, so I do have one, but I don't have it with me right now measuring the decibels in the room. Um, but yeah, so it's a two tens. It's got it's got two uh, Roland designed uh, ten inch speakers, which. A lot of people give uh, this. This amp gets a lot of flack for the speakers. People think it's a little too spiky when you use like overdrives and stuff. But I mean, I mean, just I mean, that's a light overdrive. I'm actually using the Pure Sky the Kayleen Pure Sky Overdrive right now because I had a Timmy from MXR but my Timmy from MXR it just kept having problems with the jack and I wanted a Timmy really bad but I so I was looking at Timmy alternatives clones essentially and this is a thirty dollar pedal you can buy off of Amazon and it's the Kayleen Pure Sky Overdrive and it's an awesome pedal I mean it works it does what I would want it to do so yeah so I have that set up. I got, and like I said, I'll, I'll get a shot of my pedal board, and uh, it, so I can get it into the video, so you can actually see what's on the board right now. Um, I have other pedals besides this, and we'll do some reviews on those pedals on occasion. Uh, well, you know, that's going to be other videos. But for now, we're focusing on this amp. But yeah, honestly, I find this amp to kind of be a jack of all trades. Like, it's it's essentially it's meant as a clean amp. So if I shut this off. No pedals. This is straight through the amp right now. I got a little bit of reverb on the amp. This is the clean channel on the amp without 
anything on it, really, except for a little bit of reverb. But, uh... <laughs> nice clean channel to it okay these amps are known for their cleans the JC clean is what it's called and for the best of my knowledge the most that I can figure out um, the actual amp itself because it's not light it weighs like 35 pounds it's, it's got a bit of weight to it is uh, the clean channel part of the amp is solid state and it has built-in effects which are a chorus, which it's known for, and a reverb and a distortion, which it's not so known for, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit of that. In a bit. Um, the chorus, I'm pretty sure the chorus, the reverb, and the distortion are all digital. Maybe the distortion's not digital, but I think it is digital. Um, in this version, if you had the full, the big boy, the JC120, they're not digital. But, honestly, it hasn't been an issue for me. This is far from a modeling amp. This is a full-on, straight-up, solid-state amp. And that's what I was trying to find. I mean, I had uh, an orange uh, Super Crush 100 for a while, which sounded good heavy when you're pushing it heavy, but its clean channel was garbage. It just, it, it sounded terrible. Like the clean channel, it took pedals okay, but it was kind of, it just, it didn't, I don't know. It didn't do it for me. This particular amp, it's passed all my tests. It's kind of survived because I was trading and buying and trading and buying amps and buying it, keeping it, you know, Guitar Center, their 45 day return policy. That was kind of like my rent -a center I would buy it, I would buy an amp, would keep it for like a month, play it, and then be like, eh, I don't know, and then try something else. And I ended up on this amp. And this amp has stayed and it hasn't left. And every time I plug into it and every time I play, it's almost like I want something else. I want it to be, you know, worse than what it is, but it always kind of wins the battle. Like every time I try try to play through it, it always it always ends up being the one that sounds better to me. So for now, this is my amp. For the most part, on this channel, if I'm demoing pedals or whatnot, I'm going to be demoing it through this. And if I get the other amp, I'll do both. But but honestly. I find that this, it, it does really take pedals pretty well. Like, right now I've got a uh, JHS um, Andy Timmons Plus pedal, okay? This is set to kind of a mild breakup, like, like a bit of a distortion, all right? But this is what that pedal sounds like. And now, mind you, I'm running through a Gretsch, but I am using the Filtertrons and I got it, but like... greatest guitar is as far as like distortion and stuff like that I mean if you if you run this thing with like a Les Paul or a 335 which at some point I'm sure I'll do um, it just it really it kicks and it sounds amazing but um, for now I'm essentially using it as a clean platform to kind of just show off the amp but what these amps are known for what they're their claim to fame is, like I said before, the JC Cleans. And this is straight through the amp with, nothing, with no pedals on right now. This, right here, it has a, uh, a vibrato and a chorus setting, okay? This is a fixed, there's a fixed setting on the JC40. This is the stereo chorus. Now, of course, I'm, this is a mono mic, so you're not going to get the full effect of being in the room. But just 
just take my word for it when I say it's kind of glorious, but... <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it's that's the uh, the chorus effect that's built into the amp, okay? Maybe with the 120, it might be an actual analog version of that, and this is essentially a digital version, but I don't find there to be that much of a difference. I mean, to me, in the room, I, I've got analog choruses and I've got digital choruses, and this thing sounds great. I mean, the chorus, it just fills the room. If you're in the room with it, it just freaking fills the room, and it sounds amazing. Um, this is the vibrato setting on the amp. <laughs> That's a cool effect. I mean, I, mean, I don't use vibrato that often, <laughs> to be honest with you, but, um, but yeah. That's that. Now, the amp does have built-in distortion. It has a reverb as well, which I can kind of demonstrate here a little bit. Let's see. Uh, it's a nice trail. If you crank it up, it's actually, I think it's supposed to emulate a spring. This is like really high up. You can get some pretty swimmy reverb out of this thing. It's not a bad reverb. It's obviously a digital reverb, but it's a pretty good spring. It doesn't, it doesn't do that drippy thing like a Fender, but it's actually a very usable reverb, a very usable spring reverb. And um, there's also distortion on the amp, which I will show you a little bit of here. Honestly, it works best at low volumes. If you want to, let's keep down the treble a little bit on this. Honestly, I, and my, my knobs right now are all, you know, on five across the board as far as the, the EQ is concerned. The EQ works really well. If you crank up this distortion. down on the distortion a little bit so when you actually when you do that but it does sound good it's very like Andy Summers of the police basically slicks because I you know don't want the video to get flagged but um it's it's got that kind it's got that thing going on definitely and you can add a little bit of slap back and it kind of even gives it a bit bad of a distortion it gets a bad rap honestly I kind of prefer using say like maybe this and <laughs> But 
honestly, that's almost exactly the same as the amp. It sounds very, very close to what the amp does when you're using that particular distortion. But um, that's what these amps are known for. I mean, that's the amp itself, okay? Now, as far as it, how does it take pedals, because that's kind of the whole point behind this is, well, how does it take pedals? I've been kind of showing you that along along the way. And like, and like I said, I'm using the Scratch today, so it has a different response to what it does with pedals and, and the like, but um, yeah. But it does, let's see, let's put a little, tremolo on here and I'll give it a little bit of this but give you kind of like a here honestly in the room right here sitting right next to it that sounds as good as any other tube amp or any other random amp that I've had throughout the years it's plenty loud enough to gig with if I give this thing some volume which I'm not gonna do right now because it's plenty loud enough in the room um, but just trust me on it when I say this thing gets plenty loud enough and and it takes pedals like a champ so like here I'll play a little bit here this is uh, my MXR Phase 90, and I've got the uh, the Kaleen Pure Sky, and I'm running a little bit of a uh, slapback delay on this as well. So. <laughs> like I've said like a jack of all trades and you can do a lot with it <laughs> honestly this is the amp that I'm gonna be using mostly on my channel to review pedals and whatnot and and some people will say oh it's not a tube amp you're not running through a tube amp I mean how are we getting a really good idea with the pedals on I gotta tell you almost every pedal I've run through this amp aside from a few sounds like the pedal is supposed to sound you know if you know how to use it, if you know what to do with it and how to use it, like for example, for a solid stain amp like this, if you were running a clean channel, I don't, oh actually I do have this over here, I could, I could do it a little bit, but um, if you were gonna run a tube screamer into something like this, because it's solid state, there's a lot of headroom as well, and what it'll do is it'll just get super loud when you hit the tube screamer. But the trick to that is to running it into like, use an overdrive as your bass tone. Like, whoops, shut off the phase. Like, that's a decent tone on its own. Now, if you, if you wanted to kick that in and give it a little more grit, say, so to speak, okay? You could you hit it with a tube screamer. But you best off to hit that pedal with a tube screamer, so you put your tube screamer before what is essentially your amp distortion. Then you hit it with the boost. Now I'm not actually using a tube screamer, I'm just using like the boost side of the Andy Timmons Plus, which is tube screamer-esque. But you get the idea of what it does. Yeah. Uh, the jazz, the Roland Jazz Chorus, the JC40, which is still a current production amp for Roland. This is a kick butt amp. If if you're looking for a pedal platform, if you like to play clean, I mean, if you're a fan of like deluxe reverbs and stuff like that, clean amps, 
this is essentially like a solid state alternative to that. So if that's something you're into and that's something you're looking for, this is definitely worth a look. And honestly, uh, in the US, these run, I'm not sure what they run on in other countries, but in the US, they're $699. $699.99, so it's a $700 amp. Um, some might think that's a little high for a solid state amp, but I think you're actually, you're paying for the quality of this amp. This thing is solid. It's like rock solid. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is an MDF cabinet that it's in, but it's a, it's, it's a good solid MDF cabinet. I mean, it's built solidly. Like, it's not cheap junk. It's a decent amp. So if this is the type of thing that you're looking for, you know, it covers everything. I mean, you can play metal on this thing if you want to. Hit it with a freaking distortion pedal that gives you like metal and a certain type of guitar, and you can get that kind of a tone out of this amp. So I did the review of the amp, and I also realized after I did the whole review that I missed a few key points. It does have an effects loop. It's actually a stereo effects loop, and on the front of the amp, it has two um, inputs, a left and a right, which you can either run it mono, you can run it stereo. So you can actually run a stereo effects pedal, like directly into this amp, into the front of the amp, in true stereo. It's got like two dedicated preamps in it, like two uh, 20 watt dedicated preamps for each speaker. So yeah, I kind of forgot about that when I was doing the whole review, but um, yes. It, it, it can run true stereo, so it's a true stereo amp, which actually kind of makes it something kind of special in that way. Most of the time I do run it mono, but you can run true stereo into the amp, in the front of it, and in the back in the effects loop, which has a parallel and a series effects loop in the back. It also has a headphone jack, which isn't the greatest, but it does have that. So, so yeah, like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.